at the Teal Llama Arts True Tender Date Horror Story. Hey, to be honest, I used to have a Tinder app, but I don't use that no more because a lot of a lot of people out there are getting catfish or well, true, a lot of people get out there getting catfish. But I don't use dating sites no more. It is low key too much. I put myself out there. One hundred percent. So I do feel bad a lot of people that who's been catfish a lot because well, getting catfish a lot because we don't know who who is. But right now, I'm an artist, bro. He he got a lot of stories from a lot of people. I watch his uh his videos and he gets stories from a lot of people. So you know what? I'm not gonna talk that much, bro. Before I do start this video, please should go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications bell on, and smash the like button. And follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And let's go. Thanks to Shutter for sponsoring this video. Get a free 30-day trial using code Llama at Shutter.com. More details at the end of the video. Years. setting up my account and going through with my profile, I just start to randomly select a few of the girls that I felt were pretty. I'm not picky. I just wanted to make sure that I found the right girl for me. Yeah, I feel him in that. I feel him. She said, yeah, I was always the quiet one when I'm in class. Anyways, I think you're really cute. We should hang out sometime. I agreed and asked her to where she wanted to hang out, where to meet her, and what time we should be there. We said we'd hang out at her place and meet her tomorrow night. She accepted. I got to the park that night. Oh heck no. I don't trust that.
Nemea by the name of Jeff and introduced himself to me as Robin's father and said that Robin had told him a lot about me. He told me that Robin had been to Lincoln Park and she remembered that every night she would play a slumber party with friends. Huh? A slumber party? going to be a long drive, but luckily I knew all the shortcuts to the house. I told him where I lived and how to get there if I got in my car. After a few minutes, he <sighs> Homie should have said no. He should have stick to walking. I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust, like, getting in a car, getting, get well, getting inside of strangers' cars, man. I don't. Like, if somebody, if someone pulled up and said, if I need a ride home, I don't know. I don't know that stranger. I, I, I'll I stick to walking. I don't, I don't get in nobody's stranger's cars besides my friends and family. That's it. No strangers. I, I don't mess with that. I was feeling tired from working out so late. So I closed my eyes and looked at the future of seconds before it was gone. And I not walk oh, no. You should never have done that. Come on, bro. Keep running, man. Keep running. He dove behind a tree and hid under a bush. I heard the man yelling. Get my keys. I will find you. I covered my mouth with my hands and held my breath, trying not to make a sound. Everything was silent for a while until I saw the man who had looked at me with the flashlight. He flashed it past me while he turned. Then I heard footsteps go through the open woods. That's when I knew everything was clear. I ran using the flashlight on my phone to help navigate through the dark and scary. Oh, we didn't crash into him. In hindsight, I knew that was a big move considering the situation. I could hear the leaves crunching and the twigs snapping as I ran, which would also mean that I was in a heavy position. The crunching and snapping got louder. I looked behind me and my heart dropped when I saw that the man was chasing me. I ran as fast as I could until the man was hot on my tail, firing every single last live round he had in his gun. Keep running. Keep running, bro. Screw that. Don't even stop. Gave him the details and description. After the police had run a search, they 
What? Bruh, that's crazy. That's crazy, so. Like I said, man. A catfish, bro. This, bro, this is exactly why I stopped using that. Because, I mean, the dating sites. People getting catfish and then a stranger gonna do some, do some crazy stuff. That's, bro, that story, bro, that was scary, bro, but I'm an artist, bro, he got some fantastic stories, bro, with a lot of people, I like about that, so, once again, I'm an artist, that was a good story, see, this is why you gotta put yourself out there, don't use dating sites, because you get catfish, and then you get set up, glad homies are right. All right, man. Thank y'all for watching. We all want me to let me know in the comments. You all want me to react.